Okay, and now let's take a look at another example. And in this case, we're going to use event listeners. Again, something that is coming from vanilla JS. And essentially the way the event listeners work in vanilla JavaScript, we just go with the element. In this case, I'm gonna go with window and then we add the listener and then whatever event we wanna listen for. So in this case, I'm looking for the scroll one. And then we want to pass in the callback function. So essentially, this callback function is going to be invoked every time this event fires. And in our example, we want to go over here, we want to set up the function inside of the use effect and all that. And then we want to attach that listener on the window. And then we'll see some interesting behavior. And of course, after that, we will clean this up because that's the main point of these videos. So let's start over here by just removing everything. And let's come up with that some funk again, doesn't really matter what happens in here. Uh, and therefore, I'll basically leave it blank. That's irrelevant over here. So I'm just gonna say here some logic. And then now let's go with window. Again, in react, we do have access to the window object, we would go with add event listener, we're listening for scroll. And Basically, we go with comma and then some funk. So this is going to be invoked. So let's again click and refresh and all that. Let me click over here. Notice we have the render. Okay, that's what we expect. What we don't expect probably is if we go to a bigger browser window and if we check the event listeners in tabs and if we refresh, basically see over here that we have quite a few event listeners. So let's go over here. Notice how I toggle the component. And once I refresh, I have here the scroll. And now notice how many I have over here. So essentially, every time I toggle the component, I'm actually attaching that event listener on a window. And again, eventually, this can lead to an issue. Now, some students have complained that they don't see that. And every time I go and double check in my browser, I can still see it. Again, you're looking for event listeners, and then you want to refresh, and you want to check how every time you'll toggle the component, essentially, the value is going to increase over here. So you'll have more event listeners. Now, if you don't see that, again, just trust me that that's the behavior. So now let me navigate back and let's see how we can fix that issue. And again, we want to go here with return, a function, and we want to go with window, then the method name is remove event listener. And in here, we want to pass in the scroll, then comma, and then we want to pass the same function. So in this case, it's going to be some function. And now you'll notice that once I refresh, once I toggle the component and refresh, yep, I have one. So that's fine. But then once I hide the component and refresh notice, I don't have any more of that scroll event. And effectively, that's how we can use the cleanup function in a use effect.